What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so that you know when I post a video. Today, I want to get into everyone's favorite topic. Ego. I feel really bad for the ego. I feel like we have <laughs> mistreated it, misunderstood it, demonized it, and I want to clear some things up so that all of you can like stop being so afraid of it, stop being so like judgmental of it. Because it just is what it is. It's like anything. It just is what it is. If you compare it to a knife, you know, a knife, whether it is sharp or blunt, is fine, is what it is. However, a sharp knife used with ignorance to destroy things or hack at things that it's not meant to hack at or that will have negative consequences. Mm, you don't really want a sharp knife in that situation. You actually want something blunt. And I would say that's what has happened with the ego. Our egos, well, some people's egos are very, very sharp and unfortunately so. So let's get into that. All right, I really like how Bashar describes the ego in that he has, in some of his videos, his videos, Daryl Anka's videos, I don't know what to, whatever, that. He has described it or compared it to a scuba diving mask. What he means by this is that the ego is what lets you breathe underwater, right? And let's say that the world, the 3D world, is underwater. So we come down here, and on this plane of existence, you know, there are certain things that we require to be able to survive, and one of them is an ego self. Now, what the hell is an ego self? So the reason that people are afraid or judgmental or against having an ego was because by its nature, it is limiting. Again, you think of a mask, you know, that is limiting. It's putting it on your head so that you can have air. It's filtering out all that water and giving you oxygen, right? It's letting you breathe down there. The way that it does that is like it, it selects, right? So the ego selects, okay? It limits, it closes off so that you can focus and be here. If you didn't have that, you, you wouldn't get to experience human life as we know it. Like we all know that actually science has been telling us for a really long time, a really long time, that the way things look are not actually the way that they are. We select and we choose to see like the chair as being solid because that helps us affirm it and sit on it and have an experience with it that is beneficial to us. So you wanna think, of everything in your life, in your purview as that, that you have this ego self that is confirming and constricting in a way to the assumptions and the thoughts and the beliefs that you have as a human being. And this is why also going beyond the ego is so like so amazing because when you get to do that, it's like you literally push past the limitations that have been set on you, right? In whatever they may be. Like a limitation, it's not necessarily negative. It's just a certain way of seeing things. It's a scope. If you think of it as a lens, it's like a widening of the lens or a refocusing of the lens. So going beyond the ego, yes, can be like absolutely instrumental to human development and life, but that isn't because the ego is something negative. It's just been letting you live and see and feel and think and hear and speak as and be as the thing that you have, you have been. So in a way, you know, we should all be actually like really, really grateful to our egos and, and just like, and not, not try to fight it and not be afraid of it. Never, ever, ever be afraid of it because 
you know, it, it lets you be here. It lets you like have a personality. It lets you buy things and have things and, and talk to people and have an identity and all of that. Like, I don't, I don't think the goal is ever to be egoless and, and people who, who say that, I, I don't know, I would kind of walk the other way because I, I think in that sense they've actually gotten an idea of something that they imagine to be egoless that that isn't actually the thing it's just something else it's it's another set of restrictions and constrictions and limitations right so like being holier than and like really spiritually advanced or all of that that's just a different personality that's just a different identity that's just a different something Okay, so that's that is very much limiting because then you have this idea of like what that person says, what that person wears, what that person speaks as, what that person experiences, how that person meditates, how that person eats. Like it, it, it very much still has all the qualities of an ego. So I think I think that's like really all I want to say about it for now is just don't be afraid of an ego. It's just that, you know, it's very much a functional part of you and it just needs redialing in a way. So it is, it is letting you breathe where you choose to breathe. And in that same way, if you're like, my ego self is really, really constricting, absolutely. Like if you're experiencing a life that is not fulfilling or desirable or any of that, then absolutely you probably want to look into going beyond the ego. Then what you actually have to do, you know, is you have to like go beyond and not trust so much in what the ego is reinforcing and giving you in the 3D and the physical reality and your thoughts and feelings. And you have to reach past and you have to really commit and align yourself to what might exist beyond. And by the way, also like people have, people have like spontaneous awakenings. We're constantly awakening. So sometimes it might not even like feel like a choice or something and we're, and we're just kind of blasted out of that. That can happen too can happen too but again like you don't you don't like stay in that egoless place like you 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 don't you don't so anyway that's all oh i just want to like say something maybe i'm gonna cut this out because i feel like this is like very like mm -hmm. it never ends so this is something i read in in, in a seth book and if you guys I've talked, to, I guess, a lot about channeling in this episode. If you guys like Seth, if you don't, I find him a little bit hard to to listen to. I like, I, I listen to an audiobook of his. He describes death in a completely different way than what I had heard. And I guess I kind of assumed that when we die, sorry if this is triggering for, for people who don't like to talk about death, but I thought when we die, you know, we're suddenly like back in that egoless place and we are the universe and we are like abundance and love and we are, we're like, we're, I don't know what I thought. I just thought it was like, I would know everything, everything. That's, that's, I guess what I imagined. And Seth described death as a very different experience that it's like, yes, you absolutely go to a different realm, but you're not you're not like free from from what you just lived that basically everyone's death experience is completely different and you move on to like all different kinds of planes and different people depending on where they're at move to different places and have different transitions and come back down or stay up there that it's all different and that kind of blew my mind because it made it made me realize that that it's just one more transition, that it's all transitions, it's all process, it's all going on forever and ever and ever. I don't think there is an end. I don't think there is an end. I don't think we ever are there because if there was a finish, if there was a, if there was like a, basically it's like the universe cannot be categorized. Existence cannot begin 
an end. Otherwise, it just doesn't actually make sense when you think about it. How can there be a beginning? How can there be something before there was something? That's just another something. So, so that kind of makes me... Anyway, like, for some reason that was like, that was really comforting to me because then it made me realize like it's not that I'm ignorant and I don't know and oh you know I'm gonna like get to the end of this life and be like <sighs> should I know better should I know better gee that's how it really is no you never you never like get to how it really is because it's always expanding it's always recreating itself I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I hope you're like living your life live your life. Don't forget that you, you are the one. You are the chosen one. I love you. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.